It's hot and almost midnight on Sunday evening. Hi guys, this is Connie, and you probably hear the fan in the background, not that one, obviously. The better one in the hallway. And as of about mm, half an hour ago, you would have probably heard my neighbors. I think they finally turned in for the night. So Sunday, Memorial Day weekend, the one take one eight for today being the 27th. Let's see, we got up. The baby's been a little restless in the morning, so we've eventually had to like, I default to cuddling with her a few hours in the morning because I can, and we both get a little bit of sleep, which is great. Um, hmm. The highlight was about 10 minutes before we had to walk out the door in order to go to church together. Uh, she went searching through a couple of our bathroom drawers, which is fine. Uh, most of the little travel to go uh, bottles we have are sealed, are brand new and haven't been opened. But she found one that wasn't sealed and it apparently had a pop top that she could bite open. And we were not aware of it until she was on our bed with our a pile of like our top sheet and she just shook it shook it shook it shook it shook it and it was open and then all of a sudden it went from just shaking it because it was fun to shake to seeing her pour half this bottle it was a little travel size bottle all over herself and the bed so she immediately got a bath i immediately took mustachio's hot wheels car to rehearsal and uh, she smelled like peppermint, at least before I left, because it was peppermint soap. So that was the start of the day. Um, church was phenomenal. Uh, I was talking about the Trinity, because it's Trinity weekend, and uh, which is always an incredible mystery, but also really cool in all of its ways. It was the first day we put the baby in the nursery. I didn't have much of a say in that situation, because Mustachio was on duty this week and a weekend and he's like she can go in the nursery and I was like okay I definitely felt a little bit more upset than apparently she was she apparently had no tears I went and checked in on her and I thought for sure that I had been made that she had made eye contact with me because it looked like she was looking straight at me and I was like oh no I might have ruined this and instead I ended up taking a quick video shot and uh she apparently didn't see me. She didn't react at all, and she was getting cuddled by one of the uh, the workers there, which was, she just had a really good time. It was really good. They brought me breakfast. I appreciated it. I went and I grabbed myself some lunch and got lost just not having to deal with the baby for the afternoon for the most part. I got to play Pokemon Go with a couple of friends of mine later on in the day and just take it easy and relax. I almost took a nap, but obviously I didn't. I'm hoping that I'll get a couple of decent hours of sleep now, but I'm starting to realize that there's a couple of things that I really, really need to start getting in order as far as my health. I want to do more walking. I want to drink more water at the very least. I will eventually be eating healthier. But uh, right now, I really want some sleep, and I really want some water, and I really want some exercise. Um, so hopefully I can incorporate that into my life as soon as possible. I ended up walking a little bit tonight, which was really nice. It's hot, and it's humid, but it's not bad. Uh, that's all I have to say about the day. I'm tired, and we have brand new bed sheets. And Mustachio has the day off tomorrow. But he graciously, once he put the baby down, he ended up cleaning up a lot downstairs because he's going to have a couple friends over for a game day, which will be excellent. I'm probably going to bug him a little bit more than I usually do when it comes to uh, taking care of the baby. But it'll be all right. It's all good. I do, I feel a lot more peaceful knowing that there is somebody else here in case I need the backup, even though probably don't. I know I can take care of it, but I like having that extra backup here, that extra support. It's always so encouraging. I feel like I'm missing other parts of the day. Most times I just end up sharing stuff on my Instagram 
which eventually leads to my Twitter, which eventually leads to my Facebook, which eventually leads to me never getting off my phone. And then occasionally I want to play Pokemon Go. So that's a thing. Be careful with that and enjoy. Please and thank you. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Continued. Um, whether you have the day off or not tomorrow, thank you for your service. And remember those that gave their lives for you so that we could have the freedoms that we have. It's a very amazing parallel for Jesus. Hmm. Yes. Very cool. Good night.